Kumusta kayo? Mabuhay! Welcome back to MGN Diego. Ako po si Ovela and the video of the day. The video that every Filipino is talking about today is a video from The Voice US. And apparently a person, a Filipino from the US called Jay Vinson stunts apparently the coaches with passion fruit. And this is during the Voice Blind editions of 2019. This is fresh out of the oven. And the only passion fruit song that I kind of know is Drake's song. So maybe he sang Drake's song. Who knows? That would be awesome. But I do not know how to pronounce his first name. It's written J-E-J. How do you pronounce that? J? Jedge? I don't know. But Vinson, right? The last name is Vinson. I like it. Um, all right. So apparently he killed it. He killed it. He stuns the coaches. Let's see this. Let's go. Let's discover this together. See the new guy ritualistic. Cleansing my soul of addiction fun now. Because I'm falling up. Okay, so we kind of still have the same judges. We have Blake Shelton, uh, Kelly Clarkson, and Adam Levine, and they added John Legend, the man with the laugh. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. He can handle the lows. I'm falling apart on the no no passionate from miles away passive with the things you say passing up on my always I can play me no uh, John Legend is gonna press this because I can hear a little bit of John Legend in Vincent just a little bit okay You know, it's not easy to control the lows, man, and he's doing a very good job. Yeah. There you go, Kelly. Let's go. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson cannot handle it. <laughs> oh, Filipinos, Filipino, Filipino, doing it again all over the world, man. Internationally, it's a beautiful thing. And man, he started with the lows. He controlled his lows beautifully. And then he kept, you know, the belting for, for the middle. Man, he can belt too. Oh, Adam Levine felt threatened because Adam Levine, his lane is a falsetto and he just did a beautiful falsetto. Ooh, 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 ooh. Si, 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 si. Wow. Yo, I don't remember the voice stage, you know, uh, for the blind editions to be this huge. Was it this big when the voice started? I don't recall. And who's the host of this show? Is it still the same guy? I don't know. Hey! <laughs> he went for the hug. Of course, gotta hug Kelly. Oh my god. You're a better singer than all of us. Did you hear that? See? I told you, I told you that Adam Levine would hear that falsetto. And he's like, you're the better singer than all of us. <laughs> That's not true. Please tell us your name, sir. My name is Judge Vincent, and I'm originally from the Philippines, but now... Ooh-wee! Ooh-ooh-ooh-wee! Mmm! Rap 
the country, man. Ooh. I live in Los Angeles. Yes. Yes. Originally from the Philippines. That was like a wild, inspired song choice because Drake's kind of monotone normally, and I was worried that you would stay in that little zone, but then you soared. You showed us these really precise, beautiful runs. It was like you knew the note you wanted and you just picked it out of the air and you hit every single one with precision and beauty and excitement. You got the whole crowd going. See, John Legend is a real judge. Man, did you hear that? Did you hear his technical answer, you know, to Jedge? And his name is pronounced Jedge. Beautifully said by John Legend. And that's actually something that I wanted to say during his performance. I wanted to mention the fact that, you know, uh, Drake's way of singing is pretty monotone, you know, he does not belt or anything like that, but he completely arranged it uh, you know, to fit his own style, and he added the belting and everything in it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Beautifully Thank you said. So I'm excited that you got four chairs because you deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you. And so I would much. love to be a oh coach. We were sitting here listening to you. The same run just forced our hands on that, like, bah. We looked at it, each other like, like, what, are we not gonna do this? Like, <laughs> man, it was like simultaneous. <laughs> we were having such a fun time listening to you. Maybe the one thing that you'll need to make sure that you don't do is be too perfect. There's something that is so almost like surgical about how perfectly placed all of those runs are. What I would wanna do. Oh man, I like these judges. I like these judges because they just, they just don't just go by the book, you know, by the rules of singing. He's talking about the feeling as well, the energy, you know. You can find perfection in imperfections, you know. Mm. You, as, as your coach, if I were to be so lucky, it would be to make sure that we can get to a place where people can feel you as well as they can hear you. That's yeah. the number one thing moving forward for you to make sure you can navigate through the competition Very and keep well everybody said. connected to your heart. Thank you, Adam. Grabe, Judge, grabe. You know, I think everybody here is probably a little bit nervous talking to you right now. We all feel like we're looking at... I have so much fun listening to this judge, man. I love, love, love his southern accent. The winner of The Voice this season. No, yeah, I do. I oh, think. damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This is what scares me for you is for you to do what people expect you to do. I think it... Wow. I would hate to see you... That is, that is rich coming get, from you. I would hate to see you... <laughs> he lost his damn mind. He, I would hate to see you stay in a box. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Listen to me. Do you want to stand out in this competition, or do you want to be like everybody else that's oh on all God. three of those guys? Whoa! Oh this. Mm. We just had something happen where he said literally the exact opposite to somebody else. He literally... What do you guys think of uh, John Legend's jacket, man? That jacket is really standing out amongst all the other outfits of the other judges, man. It's fly. Literally, word for all word. All I know is country. So, and you're country. country and I'm country. And don't people, do that. I want to stay they, in my little box. They don't box. like my little away. box that I like to stay in. A stay in. I, I don't give a damn. I love my box. <laughs> he just sat up here and talked about his damn box. Oh, oh. love her accent. Okay. So everything that they're complaining about is because of one thing. I win this show a lot. That's a freaking fact. Oh, man, I love, love his accent. Period. Fact. It is true, though. He does win the show win a lot. this show with you. You're incredible, man. I turned around and I was like, what? Like, and it was so effortless when he was saying, oh, man, your runs are almost surgical. But they're not. They've got finesse. And I'm going to tell you this right now, too. Strategically, if you want to be strategic, like Mr. Lion Shelton over here said, is <laughs> I have one. But wait, who's the, the first judge that turned around? It was Blake, right? So maybe he should go with Blake. Although, I don't think his type, you know, of voice and style would fit with Blake. Hmm, it's hard. I think he should go with John Legend. 
male. He's in a trio of two girls and they're siblings. Does that make I him have... less of a man? <laughs> they all have a plethora of guys. I would just love the opportunity to work with you, man. You're really incredible. All right, Judge, it's decision time. All four of us would like to have you on our team. Who will you pick as your coach? Um, John Legend really gave a nice speech, but he didn't really fight for him, and yet I think he should go for jo with John Legend. <laughs> this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Come on, man, let's do it! Uh, thank you guys. It's it'd be an incredible honor to work with all of you guys. I wish I could do it at the same time, but I'm gonna pick. I'll pick Kelly. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Judge oh oh is uh, phenomenal. <laughs> Well, you guys must be so happy that these four judges were fighting like that for him. Well, minus John Legend, because honestly, he just gave him a nice speech, but that's about it. But the other three were all in for the guy, man, for Judge Vincent. Very, very nice. He deserved it. He did a fantastic job, especially with a song like Passion Fruit, like with the Drake song, if you can manage to almost make it like a legit, you know, diva ballad out of a monotone Drake ballad, that means that you did a good thing, man. No, seriously, that was good. That was good. It's not my, like, I didn't actually enjoy the, the the performance as much as I thought I would because I'm not a fan of this song, you know, but I'm, I can still recognize, like they said, his almost surgical perfection when he sings, you know, although I would I would mention the fact that maybe his uh, vibrato is too omnipresent, you know, I wish he would give us uh, notes some notes without a vibrato, you know, but I think it was more the nerves in this case. I'm, I am curious to see his next performance on this show. But as you know, I like to give an opinion about the overall track, not just the technical aspect, but just the energy, the overall energy and the overall energy here. I got the feeling that it was very positive and that I mean, the judges here are extremely experienced and they know what they're talking about. So if they say that this dude is good, then he is good. Plus, they all turned. It's not a coincidence. Unless, unless, hmm, you know, like the judges tend to turn more often when it's still the beginning of the show, when they haven't filled their spots yet, right? I think that plays a role into this. So I don't know if they are at this at the beginning of the blind auditions or at the end or in the middle. I have no idea. But yeah, now it is your turn to let me know in the comment section below what you thought of Judge Vincent's uh, performance. Did you like it? Did you think it was stunning, like the title says? Do you did you think that he should have gone with Kelly Clarkson? In my opinion, he should have gone with. Um, uh, John Legend because his the way he was singing especially at the beginning with the lows reminded me a little bit of John Legend But you can't really tell from one song what type of singer he is so who knows we'll see and uh, Yeah, I will read your comments and we'll talk about it. You know the usual So thank you again for joining me for this awesome reaction video and I will catch you in the next one Peace out everybody Thanks for watching, remember to like the video, subscribe here and wonderful things will happen and turn on your notification bell to be booked for future content. Yayayum! Yeah, yeah.